And it's a beautiful day here in the Fanshawe Residence Peregrine House Recreation Room. Today we have a very special event for you. It's the battle for the Ping Pong Championship Gala Contest Tournament World Series Playoffs Cup. And the play has started. Already D is down two from Ella. These are the sole survivors, of course, of the wickedly dangerous semifinals, which saw a record number of hospitalizations. It is D the Dominator and Ella the Eliminator. The situation is tense. I've just been informed that mere minutes before the match, referees had to restrain them from attacking each other in a vicious brawl. Some spectators had a mud pit ready and were very disappointed. Sorry folks, all the mudsling you'll see today will be on the ping pong field. Though strictly there is no mud or indeed any type of field in this particular room. I have no doubt that mayhem will ensue. Oh, and it's off the ceiling. Ella's up six points. Dee's struggling to make a comeback. And it's off the table again. Ooh, this is tense. It is shaping up to be a bloody match. Whoa, did you see that cut eye? These two hate each other and no mistake. The last time these two met in combat, bones were broken comas were induced and kittens were flung. I'm actually prevented from saying anything else about it by an obscure freedom of the press law concerning sporting events with body counts of over 15 and a half. Suffice to say, gophers. Let's get back to the match. Oh, and it's another one off the ceiling. D has snuck up one point, but Ella is still in control. If you're just joining us, this is the Ping Pong Championship Gala Contest Tournament World Series Playoffs Cup. Our competitors today are none other than D, the Dominator, and Ella, the Eliminator. The atmosphere here is electric. We've narrowly avoided the apocalypse a record 34 times in the last five minutes alone. I can't believe what we're seeing here today. Did you see that evil laugh? Ella has D exactly where she wants her. Oh, and it's off the table again. Nerves are getting to D the Dominator, and I can't blame her. Ella is a formidable opponent. Oh, and it's off the ceiling. D fumbles for the ball. She hits it, and Ella hits it into the net. And D hits it into the wall. She looks very happy about that. But it's D who has to go looking for the ball in the furniture. And it's back to play. Another point for Ella, 14-4. You the table. Whoa! Now you- did you see that? That is Ella Eliminator's signature move. She dubs it hitting the ball so that it hits the table on the opposite side of the net. I call it pure genius. Honestly guys, that is artistry. Ping pong artistry in its purest form. Oh, she's showing off now. And it's another point for Ella. It is 16-5. She is looking confident out there. D, on the other hand, is merely looking pissed off. Now you might have noticed the distinctive makeup worn by D the Dominator. Well, as some of you found out from the internet buzz, that's no makeup. Little Dilshad was born that way, and legend has it she punched the doctor mere minutes out of the womb. She's not someone I would cross. She was suspended from the league for a year after a positive drug test. She has since proved, however, that she naturally produces pure rage, and its presence in her bloodstream is a constant factor. On a side note, she's just accepted a sponsorship deal with Hello Kitty. And it's off the table- Oh, they're playing it off the floor! This is an unexpected move! Oh, Ella swats it out of the air with contemptuous ease, and then right into the net! That is good form, my friends. You will not see that 
in any other kind of game. Now, Ella the Eliminator is the twelfth of twenty daughters of the esteemed Shili Mi, the only winner of the Golden Paddle. She's been playing ping pong since age four months. Last year, she beat three time Junior Cup winner Lily Paddlewaddle by a record one million points to nothing. The game had ended four hours earlier, but the enraged Ella continued to fire ping pongs at the cowering Paddlewaddle until every single ball left in the building was mangled beyond recognition. And by beyond recognition, I mean it had been pulverized to the atomic level. She's looking pretty evil there. Oh, oh, and she plays it off the floor. That is a sneaky, sneaky move. And the score is 25, Ella, and D6. And who's she talking to? None other than her coach, off on the sidelines. Whoa, this situation is- did you see that? That is equipment failure, I would- I would halt the play right there, but Ella, Ella, she's tough, and she's gonna keep playing. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if her flip-flops had been sabotaged. By I couldn't possibly accuse anyone. But it is looking really tense here with 26 to 9. I don't hope I keep like this. Whoa, that comment will be bleeped for viewers at home, but the crowd here is shocked. Shocked to find that kind of language here. This used to be a noble sport, and there are ethnic slurs being shouted about people's mothers, brothers, teachers, cousins, pets, former roommates. This is what the sport has come to. I cannot believe it. Ping pong, or table tennis as some of you may know it, was invented by a blind choreographer from Kentucky. From its humble beginnings in the war-torn Iraq, to its triumphant graduation to national television, it's been a Cinderella story the entire way. It has skyrocketed in popularity over the last five minutes and is expected to be included in the next Winter Olympics. That is, of course, a variant of the sport played outside on ice skates. And we are nearing the end of the match here. The situation is tense. 31-10, and it's match point. And, oh. That's it! It's a victory for Ella the Eliminator! I cannot believe it! Ella has pulled through, scoring at the last minute. This is a great day for ping pong, a great day for China, and a great day for my gambling debts. I did not see that coming. It was a close one right up to the end. Wow! Adieu and kids, don't try this at home. Thank <laughs> you.